Hey y'all, it's Kirby. I am going to answer all of your fabulous questions via vlog, so get excited. I'm actually a little bit nervous, so um, I'll probably ramble and use the word um a lot, so I apologize for that now. <clears throat> Amber asks, what is the reason behind our blog name? Um, so Are You To Me is a song title by East Mountain South. Um, it is the song that I walked down the aisle to. Um, I started our blog right after we got married. Um, I had stalked blogs forever, so I just thought it was time for me to start one. Um, but it just seemed, at that time, the perfect title. Um, Heather asked, what is my favorite meal? Hands down, my favorite meal is pizza. I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Doesn't matter. I love pizza. Glenn, on the other hand, is not such a fan, so, but he is kind to me, and uh, we'll eat it once a week. So, my favorite meal to cook is Heather's second question. Um, that would probably be lasagna and homemade bread. Um, I love to cook, I love to bake, and lasagna and homemade pasta sauce is one of the things that my dad taught me how to cook and one of the things that he and I used to cook together a lot so it's still one of my favorite things to cook. Neely asked what is my favorite thing about blogging? I would have to say all of the wonderful relationships that have started because of blogging. Um, I started probably September of 2009 and um, just as a way to I guess an outlet for me um, I loved blogging and now that I've gotten to know so many of you fabulous ladies um, and also thanks to Twitter um, we're able to talk um, a lot so um, I would probably just say all the wonderful um, relationships that have come because of blogging. I never expected that. Um, Neely also asked what attracts me to my favorite blogs. Um, I'll probably just say whatever stage of life I'm in right now um, as a newlywed. Um, I'm a, in my fourth year of teaching, so I love um, blogs about other newlyweds, young couples. Um, I love other cooking blogs, of course. Um, I'm really trying to get into the more of the do-it-yourself things, like the curtains that I want to make, and um, I have so many ideas, and so I love other do-it-yourself blogs. Um, also, just blogs that are completely real and honest. Um, just all of you fabulous ladies. I love y'all's blogs. Um, Amy asked... Um, or said that her son is going into fourth grade next year and she wanted to know what does he have to look forward to. Um, fourth grade is probably one of my favorite grades to teach. Um, I would like it so much more if we didn't have all the pressure of the state testing. Um, that being said, <clears throat> fourth grade, I don't know what it is about them, but when they get to fourth grade they just really start coming into their personality so much more. Um, I'm able to joke with them and they get it. Um, I don't know. It's just, I can see like when they come in the beginning of the year, they're still third grade little babies. And then by the time they are close to the end of the year, I mean, they're fifth graders and they're just, they're still kind and they're still sweet, um, but they're not all snot nosed. Um, and stuff like kindergarten is. I've done kindergarten before. Um, I love kindergarten too, by the way. But um, I don't know. The fourth graders, they're just, they're not too cool for school yet. Um, that comes next year, fifth grade. Um, but fourth grade in Texas is all about writing, and I love writing. I was almost an English major in college. So, um, actually I probably was. I think I changed my major like eight times, but anyways, that was not a question. So, <clears throat> fourth grade. Um, yeah, the writing. Um, I love it. Um, I also love um, math 
and in math we start in fourth grade is long division and um, fractions and stuff they don't like at the beginning but um, I relate everything to food mainly pizza so um, they get it but that's what I think um, your son will love about fourth grade <clears throat> Katie wanted to know what is my favorite thing about teaching um, I have always taught in a title one school um, what I love the most is that I know that I'm doing something to help them. I am making a difference. I know I won't probably ever see it in my lifetime or I won't see it for years, you know, once they, I instill in them that they will go to some sort of college, whether that be a trade school or a university, something. Um, I just try to be that constant thing. Um, that they may not have, they don't have a lot of consistency in their lives. So um, I think just knowing that I will make a difference um, is something that I love about teaching. Um, Katie also asked, what is the my favorite date that Glenn and I have ever been on? Um, it's actually a funny story. We went to, when we were dating, it was, the first Valentine's Day that we had spent together, I was living in Houston and Glenn was living in Waco and he came to visit me and um, he took me on a date to Quattro. It's a restaurant um, in the Four Seasons in downtown Houston. Um, fanciest place either one of us had ever been to. Um, we got all dressed up, had a wonderful dinner, food was delicious. Um, and on our way back, we, well, we had to park in a parking garage, and on our way back, um, we got lost. Couldn't find the car. Took forever. Um, I almost made him carry me, but we found it. Um, but anytime we think back to a fun date that we've been on or a romantic date or something, we always remember the quattro um, and getting lost. Um, Megan asked, if I wasn't a teacher, what would be what would my job be? Um, I would love to be a chef. I would love to cook. I'm probably not good enough to be a chef, but any kind of cook. Um, I, I, I don't know. The hours that they have are crazy, but um, I would just, I would love to cook or be a stay at home um, housewife. No kids, just stay at home with Bella and cook and clean. That would be perfect. Um, Megan also asked which three people would I like to have dinner with. Um, I love Jessica Simpson, so I'll just say that. Um, I honestly think that she and I would be best friends, but anyway, she doesn't respond to my tweets, so maybe not. Um, I also love Kim Kardashian. I would love to have dinner with her. She doesn't respond to my tweets either, don't worry. Um, no, but honestly, I would probably say my dad he passed away seven years ago my sophomore year of college and i would just love to sit and share a meal with him again um last one kelsey asked what is um, my ideal saturday um i love my weekends i love my saturday so this is easy um i would love for um glenn to get up and have his guy time and go play golf and i get up and clean a little, go get my nails done, go to La Cantera, shop all morning, afternoon, um, and then come home and us cook dinner together and just hang out, um, have friends over. Um, I love to entertain, and the weekends is when we get to do that. So that's all the questions. I can't believe I made it all the way through. I think I did this like 20 times, and Glenn came out and said, just hurry up and get it over with. So um, I hope that this is good enough. I know I said um like a million times, so anyways, um, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Bye!